Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing a dropshipping store which made over half a million dollars dropshipping golfing products from AliExpress. This is a really great example of a business that has taken products from AliExpress and branded them as their own and then used user generated content to actually advertise the products on Facebook. There's a lot to learn from this store, so make sure you stay tuned. And I'm also going to be showing you how to use user generated content for your own business as well. With that being said, there's not a lot more to say. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Let's jump straight into it. So so the store found today on Exchange Marketplace is called Bunkerless Golf. This is their turnover since May 2020 last year. We can see they've had quite a few decent months with a total revenue of over $500,000. This is actually quite rare. I do a lot of research into successful stores and this is the first one I've actually come across which has been able to sell golfing products successfully. There's not really many golfing products out there which are suitable for drop shipping. So I was really interested to actually find these guys and find out how they were actually advertising their products to generate these sorts of results. So the average monthly revenue is about 40K with an average monthly profit of 13K. If we move down into the expenses, we can see exactly how the business model works or how they've set up this business. They have the Shopify plan employees. So they have virtual assistants doing things like customer service and order fulfillment for them. They are indeed drop shipping from AliExpress and they also spend about 8K a month on Facebook, give or take, depending on what sort of month it is. But as we can see, that's the only kind of spend they have on monthly marketing obviously other than Clavio. So this is going to be where the majority of their sales are coming from. Let's jump into their Facebook page then. It's a super important part of your business. A lot of people will have a look at your Facebook page to kind of gauge whether they're going to trust you or not. So it's important that you don't neglect this. You spend some time putting together some really decent content just like these guys have. So obviously they have a really nice logo with a neon effect with a nice golfing image behind. But then what I'm going to point out is this particular product rather than just import an image across from AliExpress, they've gone to the lengths, I say gone to the lengths to produce an image like this on Canva would honestly take about two or three minutes. They've basically just cropped out the actual shoe itself and then put some text and a funky background on. But what this does is it separates them from all the competition. So when, for example, a customer comes across these guys advertising this particular shoe and then another golf company advertising the same shoe, these guys look like the original creators and the original sellers of this shoe. And therefore people are more likely to trust these guys and actually shop with these guys. Just to check out some of the other content there posting as well so a common question I get is what sort of content should I post just anything relevant to your niche really it doesn't have to be content you've created yourself necessarily so these guys have just reposted a video of different people doing silly things on the golf course they've reposted me and my golf which is a popular YouTube channel so people who come onto this page and recognize the sorts of content and the sorts of kind of influences they're featuring even though there's no link again it just kind of builds that rapport connection and that trust with the business if we jump into their store then this is the home page with the cover photo. We can see they've got a nice custom logo in the top left, no background into it. it seamlessly fits into the cover image. The cover image itself is a nice original image. You're not going to see this image anywhere else on the internet, especially not on AliExpress. So again, it just gives that store that extra level of professionalism. One thing I would add to this store if I was these guys is I would import the about us page, um, the link to the about us page into the footer. What you'll find is not many customers actually check that page out and replace it with something like track your order just so the customers who come onto your site can see they can track their order which is obviously a positive thing if we use our Shopify inspector tool we'll be able to find out what their best selling products are so we'll go to products best sellers and it is indeed these particular golfing shoes and I have actually found these on AliExpress as well so they are drop shipping these exact shoe from AliExpress they're not branded nothing like that they're not bunkerless golf they don't have the logo on these are a Chinese products from AliExpress being drop shipped straight to their customers one thing they do differently though is they have a couple of apps installed as we can see this isn't a default template they've added these different kind of check marks they've added a nice little customer review here with an image the whole thing just looks super professional and it separates itself from any other kind of quote unquote typical Shopify store if we keep scrolling down through their product page we can see more custom content again different to any particular default theme you'll see on Shopify. There's apps you can get for $30, $40 a month, which will let you do things like this to really customize the product page. And again, just give it that unique feel, which again is gonna separate you from the competition. I can't stress enough how important it is to separate yourself from all the other people on Facebook selling the same products as you. Again, we have some more original content, a gif of the shoes in question. So they might have ordered two or three pairs of shoes like this, got a simple camera setup, 
gone this could be in their back garden doesn't necessarily need to be on a golf course but super easy to film super easy images to take but again it just separates them from the competition and then this is the actual facebook ad in which they're running now to my mind i'm pretty comfortable in saying i know the majority of professional golfers or at least the big names i don't believe this guy to be a golfer a professional golfer i'm pretty sure this could be an actor in which they've paid to record this video or it could be somebody who has a youtube channel or an instagram channel who plays golf and they've just reached out to and said hey would you mind filming a video about our product the way i know this then is if we head to the facebook ad library we can see the ads they're running so this one is still active since may 28th so it's been active for a few months now so we know for a fact they're making money from this nobody continues to run ads unless they're making money from them for obvious reasons if i just make this a bit bigger and play it through then you can see exactly how the video is structured and how it works bunkerless golf i just gave it a shot and really really impressed with it super lightweight got great traction on the bottom there and also just very comfortable and pretty good support i'll definitely be giving them a shot again so what we saw there nice short sharp video to the point just in case nobody has their sound turned on all the different kind of quotations or benefits and features that the person points out is then identified in the text below so you don't have to have the sound on the video itself in total is only 17 seconds long so super sharp to the point but obviously does the job so we've seen the numbers we've seen the site and we've seen the products they're selling if we find the product on aliexpress if i'm not mistaken this is the exact same product so let's get like a good view of it up here and then let's find it on their website so if we compare in fact let's get the actual product page up now if i'm not mistaken by the looks of it these are indeed identical so these guys are buying them for let's go for like middle of the range um let's say 40 dollars or the exact shoe so 40 dollars delivered in fact plus the shipping cost of two dollars fifty so 42.50 delivered and these guys are selling them for 80 dollars. so a nice healthy profit margin there if these guys are selling quite a few of these shoes as well then it wouldn't actually surprise me if they've got a a bigger discount than than what's shown here now so with that being said then we've seen pretty much the whole business model and how it's set up to finish the video off i want to show you how easy it is to get yourself a video um, like these guys are actually using we've seen how effective it is in generating over half a million dollars in sales if you simply head on to fiverr and search for unboxing you can see all of these actors on here which will produce videos for you for super cheap so this guy here is starting at 20 pounds we can scroll down there's just endless people so obviously just make sure the person you pick kind of matches the type of product so if you're selling beauty products and the chances are you don't want like an old man with gray hair promoting those products just make sure you find somebody that fits and represents the kind of message that you and your business is putting across if 20 to 50 pound which is kind of what you can expect to pay a bit too much for you because you're just starting out on a budget then what i would recommend is going onto youtube going onto instagram find influencers around a thousand followers maybe even less but try and find those again which fit the kind of image and representation of your business that you want find the ones that are putting out content of themselves so they're comfortable filming the content make sure they're comfortable on camera what you want ultimately the video to do is the person to come across as really natural not like it's scripted nothing like that and typically what happens when you reach out to people is they'll ask you to send them kind of two or three features about the products in which you want them to emphasize in the video and with that being said then guys i think that pretty much wraps up the video we've covered everything the store itself the product the actual marketing campaigns and then how to get user generated content yourself so hopefully you've learned something new hopefully you've learned something you can take away and implement to your own business which will improve it if you have please Please do make sure you drop me a like and of course if you want to see more of my content don't forget to drop a sub as well one final quick message before you go if you're interested in a program which will show you everything that you need to do from the very beginning day one start from scratch as a beginner all the way up to having a fully fledged functioning profitable shopify business make sure you check out my ecom academy it comes with my full support and guidance as well um, if you want to hop on the phone with me on a one-to-one -one call and just go through any particular questions you have about the program before joining we can do that as well there is a free callback service with that being said, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.